So Joe Biden has stepped aside and allowed his right hand woman, Kamala Harris, to actually try dethrone Trump from going back into the White House. Now, when this news broke, I was not surprised because if you watch the debate a couple of weeks back, it's not surprising that Joe Biden, being at the age he is, you know, the faculties that he have physically is stepping down, not from presidency, but he's stepping out of the debate race. Now, this is my thoughts on it. I give Joe Biden credit. My, my phone screen crack. I give Joe Biden credit because at least he's self-aware of how he is, whether it's up here or so. Using me his mentality, his understanding of the of um debates. It doesn't matter how long, cause he, he basically Brock said this that he has been in politics for fifty years. Doesn't matter. You're at an age where you're not going to be competent enough, and this question was thrown at you in the debate. That if you go see if you if you go back in pre, in the president's seat and do another four years, you're going to be eighty six. So when you're 86, how is it that you're going to rule over the undisputed nation of the, of, 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 the, of the world? You're known as the greatest country in the world, right? USA. USA. But he has, he, he has after that debate, he himself know that he cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Donald Trump. He can't, as much as he hates Donald Trump, whether it's on a political level or on a personal level, the fact is that he cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Donald Trump. And if you want more proof, go ahead and watch that debate a couple weeks back. This brethren got sat down in that debate. He had, that's no debate. That, like, there's no question. If you watch the debate, the brethren, I mean, he had funny expression, uh, funny facial expressions on his face, like... When Donald Trump was an answering question, this person is like, like his facial expressions, just, and even he's answering questions, man. He's stumbling. He's like he's stumbling over a block, like like he can't walk properly, like he's fumbling over his words. He's stammering. Is this embodiment of a president? Is this the embodiment of a president that's looking to do another term in the president's seat? It, it wasn't a good look. And even when he was giving his last remarks in the debate, he was stumbling like this. It, it's a bad look for him. So I, again, I give him props for practicing self-awareness. Being self-aware, say, you know, say he's, he's not that kind of guy anymore, unfortunately. Because up here, so go start rot up, and it's been and it's been started, and you've seen that when he's answering questions, and even before the debate, this virgin stammering. I think I don't even think he he knows where he is when he's when when, when I don't even think he knows where he is. This virgin falling over the place, and even in the debate, man, you would think say this virgin that uh if you if you didn't know any better if you thought you would you 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 would think donald trump was the president running for another presidency of uh presidency term and donald trump was a politics politician looking to actually get presidency because donald trump floored him in that debate no debate about it you watch the debate and you see that donald trump was in control from the first minute to the first minute and 38 minutes in that debate. I think that was the length of the debate. I watched it on YouTube. So if it wasn't, if you watched it live on CNN, I watched it on YouTube. So excuse her brother for that. But it's bridging control uh, uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden's demeanor, his disposition, his behavior in the debate was very passive, very subservient. You look at him, this bridge, when Donald Trump answers questions, like retorting, like objecting to what he said, he's like, dude, what's up with that, man? Donald Trump all the time was showing ex was showing his dominance, whether it's physically or non-physically. This bridge was just, his head was up. Yes, he had a, a screw face on his face, but, you know, his head was up. 
you know he, he i mean uh you know as jokes aside comics aside we know that donald trump can get in his rhythm when he wants to but in this debate he was he was he, he wasn't really you know your typical trump because to show you that joe joe biden was out of his depths this brethren talking about this uh donald trump he was getting a bit personal and this is a political debate he was getting a bit personal hold on. he was getting a bit personal with trump talking about oh you had sex with a porn star when your wife was 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 pregnant you know with your child you know the the thought the idea he's always seeing the thought and the idea I think persons say that because they don't have nothing to say. So when they say that, they're trying to refute what the person is saying because they don't have nothing else to say to combat that. You know, you understand? You have to deep this thing, you know, this thing goes real deep, man. And he was, yeah, like, so like I was saying, Donald Trump wasn't really getting personal with him like how Biden was getting personal with Trump. And even when he got personal with Trump, Trump was poised, poised, confident. He wasn't unmoved. He was. He wasn't moved. He was firm. He was. His his foundation was strong, man. It's like what Banner was saying. Went through this year, went through the other, and it didn't phase him. It didn't phase him. So this bridging Donald Trump was in. He was in control. Like there was one time where Donald Trump was telling Joe Biden, "Let us stop acting like kids." This is the vice. This is the former president. Telling the current president, let us not act like kids. So we think was in control of that debate. I don't need to ask you that. Now this bridging has come to the conclusion. It took him a while. He has come to full circle. Say, he's not going to win this debate. He's not going to win this debate. He knows he's out of his depth, man. He, like he's he's beyond himself. No, he knows that. And he's fully endorsed. Kalama, uh, Kamala Harris to be the one to run for the Democrats against Donald Trump. No, I'll say this as I wrap up. Ain't no woman going to be no U.S. president. Ain't no woman is going to be U.S. Dude, the United States the United States is a very powerful nation whether you like it or not, right? And it's arguably the most powerful nation in, in the world. Ain't no female go around that friggin' uh, country. I'm not from the United States. I'm Jamaican. I live in Canada, which is neighborhood to the United States. But, hey, yo, no female is not going to be in no president seat in no friggin' United States. Here's the thing. This is, why I, this is why I believe Donald Trump, not only because I want him to be, but I believe he will win because he's going to win. Donald Trump... When he needs to be, can be a wartime chief. You see, wartime chiefs with Putin. You see, wartime chiefs with the the uh the Ukraine president or the U Ukraine prime minister. We need wartime chiefs when the time calls for it. Biden is not a wartime chief. Trump can be a wartime chief when he needs to get his hands dirty. When he needs to send his soldiers to get some, you know, get dirty. He knows and he can leverage it in his benefit. See, that's the difference with Biden and Trump as described in the debate because there was a question asked of him where a u.s reporter whether it was in a i don't even know i think it was in afghanistan or 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 in ukraine where it was taken as hostage and biden go pay all of this money to go release a reporter and the reporter is still not re uh, released and donald trump said he's going to get the reporter released without paying a dime and he said he's going to, to try, you know, smooth over, make peace between the war between Russia and, and Ukraine. Donald Trump can get things on his own terms. Biden, I don't believe Biden is that type of guy, and he's not. He's not that type of guy. And for this virgin to endorse this female named Kamala Harris to go around this country, well, not this country because I'm not in the United States, but to run the country of the United States, it's comical, it's comical to me. This is comedy, actually. This is stand-up comedy. What are you doing, man? To run against Donald Trump? Why is this like 2016 where Bill, Bill, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton was running against Trump? It's not going to fly. It's not going to fly. This virgin is going to see Kamala Harris down and send her to the nearest 
infirmary or uh, the nearest retirement home the you're not going to be trump fam you're not going to be man why is it dark you're not going to be trump you're just not you don't have the social dominance i don't think you're that type of lady to assert your authority when things fly Donald Trump can. Donald, Donald Trump has been a busy man all of, all of his life. So when something, when, 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 he, when he feels there's some loose screws to be tightened, he knows how to do, deal with it with a firm grip, with a firm fist. And that's what he's done in his, for, in his four years from 2017 to, to early 2021. So, yes, again, the President Joe Biden is right. And persons have been, been saying that before the debate, that this person should step down. Come out of the debate, debate circle and put somebody else into representing the debate. Because you're not going to win this debate, man. You're out of your depths, man. I, can't, I don't even think you know what time it is. This is not like the mafia, bro, where you can have old-time godfathers... You know, pulling up them pants, people looking after them until they assert their authority. This is not the mafia, okay? You need proper, active person, being on your feet, leaders. Donald Trump is that type of leader. In my view, anyway. Kamala Harris is not that type. She can play a role. Well, she's not going to get no seats, so it no matter. But she's she's the type of person that can play a role, an intermediary role or second second fiddle you're not you're not going to be no president of no united states because you know it's me nah man <laughs> i mean again like it's it's comical to me but you done uh uh president joe biden it has stepped out out of the debate he has not set down as president because that's a lie he stepped out of the debate and he has allowed kamala harris to take his spot in the debate to try the throne because basically they would just want to put donald trump out of the out of the white house they don't want donald trump in the white house they do not want him out of the white house so it's donald trump against the world is me and the world is us united states of america um see man let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section like i said bro donald trump is going to get back that seat come november 5 it's not even a question it's not even a debate, but in the but, but if, there, I mean, there's no debate about it, man. I think Kamala is go go dethrone Donald Trump. Donald Trump go go go, man. Donald Trump is gonna school this girl like she's in fifth grade or something. That's how she. That's how Trump is gonna school this chick, and this chick is no chick. She probably in her fifties or something, or sixties. And not only just first white, uh, first president, first female president of the United States, but first black woman. No, seeing that she's black, I don't have any problem with that. You know, it's always good when you see a black or a colored, mostly black person run for presidency shows their ambition. But I mean, female against Trump? Come on, go sit down. Not even as black as I am and as colored as I am, I'm not even going to endorse you. I don't believe in female leaders. I just don't. That's not. Call me chauvinist, call me sexist. That, it, it, that's not something that's going to fly with me. I'm old school. I'm, old, I'm I'm traditional in that regard. So for me, I rather to go with Mr. Trump to get back presidency come November 5 of this year. And he's going to get it. Comments down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel if you're a Manchester United fan. This is a Manchester United fan, but seeing that these things are up in there, I want to give my two, you know, my two cents about. I want to give my spin on it. You understand? So, comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel. And our brothers out.